Now, what I show you today is going to work in Madden 22. It's going to work in Madden 21 next gen. As you can tell, I'm in Madden 21 next gen right now because it's pretty much in between, right? As far as gameplay goes, and it's really going to work in Madden 21 current. However, we're going to get a head start in today's video, give you guys an idea that you can use going into the next Madden. This is a route concept that is rarely used in the game, and I don't know why. And I'm going to share it with you today after you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. If you're new, I'm going to start dropping. I've already tested a lot of money plays in Madden 22. I'm actually going to keep doing more today. When I'm done with this video, I'm going back in and I'm going to test so I can show you guys on Madden 21 next gen what works for Madden 22. Now, there's newer plays in Madden 22. I think the shock option is going to be one that's going to be really good in Madden 22. I already have a money play for that ready to go once it launches. So make sure you subscribe, stay tuned. We're going to be in Bunch. Bunch is going to be a good year for Madden 22. 335 wide. I played against a guy 335 wide. Uh, he was a good player. He was like ranked three. I had him getting out of that defense over and over because I can just attack it in Madden 22. It's very easy. Uh, I guess maybe they nerfed it, but I think it's still going to be a 335 game. Who knows? Okay, so as far as substitutions, okay? I'm trying to get used to you know the adjustments and how you handle this play call screen, but it's all good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I don't have Ad um, Austin. I actually don't have Austin in uh, Madden 22. So we, we use Scantling. Scantling, I guess, a little bit better in Madden 22. However, right here where Lazard is, I'm going to go ahead and put Austin in that position. And then I'm going to leave Adams. There's a reason. I'm going to leave Adams. He's my route tech on the outside. And then on the left side, we could put whoever we want. You could take Lazard. I'm not going to be using him for this uh, concept. Now, we're going to run a play called Z-Spot. And... It works against pretty much everything in the game. You just make the proper read at the right time, and that's it. Cover three, random cover three. Uh, if I'm on the right hash, this is how I'm running it if I'm running it on the right hash. So if my bunch side is on the right side, this is how we do it. We're going to leave everybody where they're at. However, we're going to put Y on a streak and B on a slant. Now, what we're going to do here in cover three, we're going to have two reads. Your first read is going to be your running back. Okay, right off the rip. He's going to be open. If you guys ever played against better players, trying to guard the running back on passes like these are very hard, okay? They're very hard because they're damn near unstoppable. But the streak right here, okay, if he gets by, I don't know, it's, I guess it's that double-A gap. Let me just catch the ball. There's times you're going to get hung up. That's just a Madden thing. It happens. But And they keep running the same defense, bro. Let me just move him out. I, you can move him out, too, just so you guys know. You can move him out and then throw this inside. Boom. But you want to run it while he's behind the quarterback okay when he's in a set position just put him on a streak and you're gonna see with this setup right here he gets open now you see the cuts and how he moves up the field he moves a lot faster in madden 22 so this movement right here that you're seeing which probably not gonna work right here yeah because cover uh three deep cover three is is, is awesome bro okay that although you can run the ball on it the coverage behind three deep is really good the way they react to certain routes is really good okay so one more time so you guys can see this is one of the routes right here, but he cuts really slow, and it's probably the slowest I've ever seen across all games. So Madden 22 has been sped up. Okay, so Y on a streak, B on a slant. The next read is going to be this one. This one is the money right here, bro, okay? You motion Adams out, snap him while he's in motion, and then you can just come underneath, okay? You come underneath. Now, it he took a while to get to the flat, but most of the time they're going to jump the flat really, really quick, okay? So let me show you what I mean. Motion snap this guy comes underneath and this guy is always going to be open in every cover three every cover two every cover four he's just going to be open bro and i don't know why people don't use this 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 concept here we go again and then we just come underneath you can low ball this come underneath i'll low ball that possession catch it that's what i do okay that's now what you're doing you're blending this all in with like flood you're blending this with the corner route. you see my corner route out there you can blend it in with the corner route as i'll show you here in a little bit motion snap and then just wait for Y. Now, there's times where you could probably set A on a streak. However, I don't really recommend that. Let me let me try it, but I don't really recommend it, bro. Okay, so I'm going to try it. Boom. No, okay, because he'll sit. Well, actually, you do have him right here in the middle. The middle does kind of open up a little bit, but it also depends on how they shade. If they shade underneath, these guys are going to sit low. And Madden 21 next gen is probably the worst out of 22 and 21 current gen, but... There's a point I'm <laughs> off the head because I threw a low ball. That happens sometimes. That happens to me in gameplays too, bro. I'll bounce it off my homie's head. Okay, just, so just motion snapping this guy. Boom, right here, wide open. 
just look for that window that window's going to be there you you may have to wait a little bit sometimes now we could try this on, on left hash say we're on the left hash we could try this and see what kind of spacing we get. We may get better spacing because the guy will have to break to the flat a little bit faster. We do get a little bit more spacing right here. So you can see that being on the left hash actually opens the play up a little bit more. Let's run it a couple more times so you guys can see. Let's get a couple reps in to see what we're dealing with here. Boom. Now, this isn't like the newest thing that people do, okay? This isn't the newest thing. It's something people have been using since Madden 16, 17, bro. You know what I mean? So this isn't new. Now, what's cool about this play is you have reads on both sides. Okay, you, you have this one. He still caught it. That's my fault. Low balling. Like I said, off the bat, it happens. Okay, you have the two reads. You have your running back and you have the slant. Boom. Come over here. Hit the running back. Go up the field. Like I said, Madden 21 next gen is horrible. It's horrible as far as the movement. You you can't really look, look at this. This should even be like this. He should just take off on a streak and he doesn't. He stops. I like this curl, but he's going to be open. Okay, he's going to be open. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Now, let me show you uh, uh, how to run with the corner route. So let's say you, you're you trying to trick your opponent. What you're going to do is you're going to put B on a streak, right? We're going to keep the same motion, okay? And then you have your flat route. So now you're blending this all in. I'm teaching you guys something. I'm teaching you these little routes right here. Now we're blending it all in. So you're able to read this a lot easier, okay? So what you want to do sometimes is let Adams actually step and plant. What this is going to do, it's going to tell the outside third he's got a jet backwards, which is probably going to open up your flat route. I mean, your corner route right here, right here to the sideline. You can catch that on the sideline. Now, you probably don't want to use your fastest wide receiver. This is what I mean. You saw the time and the spacing I had. If you put it like a Lazard there, let me show you what I mean. Okay, I think it's important that you guys understand like the strategy behind this. Let me put a uh, Funches there. Okay, he's he's a he's not that fast. So Z spot, you probably put also on the left side, come back to Z spot, we'll just do cover three. And everything I show you here is gonna work against cover two, cover three, it's all gonna work the same. So if you're trying to throw that corner out, let Adams plant. Okay, let him plant, bro. Boom, here we go again. Funches gets a little bit more space. You see what I'm saying? Cause he's slower. So he gets a little bit more space because the outside third and Adams is actually taking this guy down the field. And that's what we want. I was trying to get to like the, the edge over here, man, but I'm trying to double team this guy. Here we go again. Look, punches. Look, 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 look at the space he gets. Look at the space. Look at the space. This is the space I get because I'm using a slower wide receiver. Now, in cover two, this works really good because flood concepts do go against cover two really well. And you can throw the slant against man defense. I don't want to get too involved with this play. This is basically a universal setup that you can use even against cover two man. So if we do cover two man, which I'm sure people want to see, you can do the same setup. However, the routes that are beginning to be open are a little bit are minimal now, okay? So because we're trying to come inside, I threw the low ball. I think it went off this guy's head again, bro. That's my fault, man. Just so used to throwing low balls, it's pathetic. You can also put like Y on an out route if you want to try to throw against mad defense, and then you can put like B on a drag, right? So here, here, inside, boom. He's got route tech, so he's gonna get open. You know what I mean? That little burst, that little speed he gets, bro, with the route tech is all I really need against man defense. Once he comes inside, I throw it. You can catch and run. Depends on how the situation is. Just a little nugget for you guys to use, especially when you're going into Madden 22. Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.